Thank you for returning to the channel. If you've moved a lot regardless of homeowner status, there's a good chance you have a few mismatched pieces that have followed you from place to place. The biggest hurdle of most residents seems to run into how to match the pieces with the current furniture or vice versa. Here are a few ways to merge your mismatched furniture and decor for a custom boho chick home style. Make a video placement. Colors. Color is often the first thing people notice when they feel something is aesthetically off. Usually there's a strange balance of complementary colors or harsh battle of contrasting colors. Either one will set a spectator off when entering a room. So what do you do when all you have are strange combinations of both clashing and overly flattering pieces? Accessorize with contrast. If you have too many blues for your yellow room, try finding a favorite blue piece or two to help break up the block of yellow but still allow the yellow to shine through. Too many shades of purple? If you have one bland piece of decor or furniture, incorporate it into your purple room. The contrast is minimal enough not to overtake the room but also different enough to act as a centerpiece, distracting occupants from the excessive purple within the room. Sometimes we have weird pieces of furniture that's shaped like an oblong. We have no idea where to put it, but we love the piece. What do you do? Either use it as another focal point or use it as a funky inspiration. In a room dominated by lines, a strangely shaped piece of furniture or decor could actually increase the intrigue when occupying the room. If the furniture in the room is less dynamic, but the odd piece sticks out oddly, add to it. Get more dynamic pieces for the room. Do you have a blob-shaped chair? Get a diamond-shaped ottoman to make it a fun addition to the room. Is your couch shaped like a sole and shoe? It surround it with other sole shapes to help give the room more flow and less rigidity. Finishes. Finishes range from matte to glossy, texture to smooth, and everything in between. The best way to marry textures is to make sure there is a balance of conflicting finishes. If you have a room with a particular glossy couch, try using a matte top table or pull your less sleek items into the room. This will create another contrast between the textures and reflective surfaces on the room, which could be tantamount if you have a lot of light filtering in. Please like, share, subscribe, and if you have any topics you'd like to see me cover or questions you'd like me to answer, send me a note. I'll be happy to oblige. Look forward to seeing